You might want to start taking notes. Take 20 of them, because this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's unbox it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So yes, in front of me, I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Super pumped to unbox this thing and give my initial impressions, initial thoughts. I was just gonna rip this thing open, get right to testing it, trying it out, reviewing it, using the camera, but I said, hold up, hold up. I gotta experience this with my people, with you guys, with everyone. So that's what we're gonna do, but since I can't wait any longer, let's unbox it. So first things first, you are gonna notice a nice black on black Note 20 Ultra label slash logo on the front there, along with some silver accenting as well. On the side, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G, more black on black, nothing on this side. Some link to download an app or something on the top and on the bottom, some more model information and all that, and of course, additional infos. Infos? Information, I tried making that sound cool. More information on the back. But without further ado, let's get into it. One. Two, and we are good to go. Let us experience the unboxing moment. Whew. Ooh, that came off easily. There it is, the Note 20 Ultra. Oh my gosh, I am so hyped, I am so hyped. <gasps> This thing's sexy. But before we get to the Note 20 Ultra itself, let's see what else comes in the box. This is an unboxing. Underneath the phone, you're gonna see a little tablet. Oh, a little a little divider, I guess. Not a, I was gonna say a tablet of information. Rather, a divider. You will receive a super fast charging adapter. This appears to be 25 watts, so nice to have that included. USB-C based, of course. Also, in the box, we have uh, another, is this a divider? Yes, divider. I gotta make sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, okay, here we go. In this little section, we have, if I undo this nicely, I guess, okay, oh, there we go. It's a box inside of a box. It's a box inside of a box inside of a box. Pretty groovy. And I think that's it. Yes, nothing else in the box itself. So let's move all this aside, focus on the main attraction. Oh, hold up, hold up. There was something shaking in the box, and I was wondering what that was. There's actually like a little hidden section on the top part of the box, so do not forget this. Interesting, so this is like a little hidden compartment right here. We're gonna take it out. What is that shaking around? Well, sim ejection tool, so you get that. Inside this little hidden compartment, okay, your your safety information, terms and conditions, your quick reference guide. Is that what, that's what it was. Okay, so it was just the paper shaking around. I didn't say this, but I honestly thought there might have been something broken in the box. I was a little bit nervous. But no, just your papers, your information, so that's in the top section along with your SIM ejection tool. <clears throat> that's it. Now to the phone itself and removal of the cellophane. Get your popcorn ready, the best part. Uh, what side should we start with? Let's do the front first. Here we go. <sighs> Look at that, it's magic, it sticks to you. Very nice, okay, let's flip it over. Part two. <sighs> Feels good. And you might not notice this at first, but there actually are two little, slight smaller cellophane strips on the top and the bottom. These are a little bit more difficult to actually get going here. You just kinda gotta use your thumbnail to get it started. Okay, got it, here we go. This is not nearly as satisfying or fun, but Little thing right there. And then of course on the bottom, same exact thing. How do we, same thing, you just gotta use your thumb to kinda get it started. Come on, come on. There we go, okay. Fully uncellophaned, is that a word, uncellophaned? We just made it up, fully uncellophaned. I already got fingerprints on it. But quick look at the build, that is one massive camera bump, man, my gosh. Don't know how I feel about this whole camera bump thing. I still wish phones would be just entirely symmetrical and flush, but it is what it is. Yeah, that camera bump, 
No joke. But let's turn this puppy on. Ooh! Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G secured by Knox, powered by Android. Beautiful Samsung logo right there. That display <sighs> looks so good. From what I've heard about this display, ooh, complete with the punch hole camera on the top. I love, see this to me, feels a lot more complete. I love punch holes as opposed to notches. I've said that several times before. Ooh, the rounded edges. Ooh, this is interesting. <laughs> And we are in. It's sexy. So overall, I like the size. I love the display. That 120 hertz refresh rate, I think I'm gonna fall in love immediately. I think I already did actually. So initial thoughts. Overall, definitely feels like a high quality, high end professional device. The display immediately backs that up as well. The camera bump is pretty massive. Now you guys know how I feel about the camera bumps on any phone as it is. Like I already said earlier, I wish that thing was flush, but it is what it is. Here's the biggest thing. That's crazy. And obviously it's not just the Note 20 Ultra. The Pixel 4a does it, iPhone 11 Pro Max. They all do it. Anytime you have a camera bump, you're gonna have some protruding issues if you wanna call them that. But that's one of the first things I'm noticing. Is it a huge deal? The camera makes up for it? Probably not. But that is something obviously time will tell as we start to review this thing and try it out and test it on this channel. And obviously, one last thing we have to look at, it would not be the Note 20 Ultra without your little ejectable stylus. <gasps> and the sound, can you guys hear that? Wow. I'm not usually a stylus fan, but um, this may change that a little bit. I'm loving the mystic black color. Obviously, I'm always gonna pick the closest thing to a black color. Do I wish it was matte? Personally, obviously, plastic is usually when you have a matte finish, or you could have a frosted glass kind of back, but overall, I don't think that's that big of a deal. It's shiny, it looks good. I just, at the end of the day, I love matte black. That's just my thing. But certainly exciting. I'm gonna go put this thing to the test, immediately start taking some photos. And of course, if you guys want more information on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, or just to snag one for yourself, you guys can always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash note 20 ultra, bmac.link slash note 20 ultra, or of course, as always, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below as well, so check it out. And with that having been said, Camera open. Oh, my Twitter's about to be lit with all sorts of different examples of photos from this thing. Look for those on Twitter. Tell me you came from the YouTube video. See you there. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hmm, I must make a note. <clears throat> BMAC, you absolutely crushed this unboxing video. Well done.